In this video, we're going to show you how to create a suspension. There are two options, linear and nonlinear. If you have suspension pickup points, you can go ahead and create a nonlinear suspension. Otherwise, you can choose the simpler linear suspension. Start out by entering some basic information about your suspension, like the track width, the static setup, your motion ratios, your roll center height, amount of anti-effect, and the steering ratio. A linear suspension represents parameters like camber gain and toe gain by constants. Next, select which components you want to use with the suspension, like the tire, and coiled over. You can also choose which anti-roll bar you want to use, and a coil over to represent the center element. Moving on to nonlinear suspensions, you can create a suspension in the same way as you would in Optima Kinematics, either by building your own or from a template. We're going to go ahead and create one from a template. You'll first want to select which components you want to use with your suspension, specifically the tire and coilover. In this case, we also have an anti-roll bar that we can select. To the right will be a graph of the suspension characteristics. You can change what's plotted here by going to the Output Data tab and selecting the channel of interest. There are two ways of changing the suspension pickup points either by editing through the data table or by double-clicking a suspension point in the 3D view. When the 3D view is selected, you can go into Output Data to view some measurements of your suspension in its current position. Also note that the steering ratio is defined as a rack ratio. This is the amount of displacement of the steering rack per revolution of the steering wheel. If necessary, you can invert the steering ratio by adding a negative. Make sure your coilover has enough travel for the suspension, otherwise you will receive an error. You can check the suspension coilover length by going to 3D View, entering the Output Data tab, and looking at the coilover length. This can help you modify your coilover as necessary. The suspension should validate itself. If successful, the suspension will validate, and the chart will appear. You can also import suspensions that you've designed in Optimum Kinematics. To do this, go into Suspension, Import, and select Optimum Kinematics file. Here you can select your Optimum Kinematics suspension file, 